I'm Jonathan Boshin, and welcome to another FCAT South County Spotlight. On this very brief edition, I have a trio of stories for you pertaining to our South County community. The plaque for the Deerfield 350th mural has been mounted and now proudly accompanies the beautiful History Flows Like a River mural created by Judith Inglese. The plaque was presented to the town back in February by the Friends of Deerfield and the Deerfield 350th Committee. Now mounted, the plaque will offer more context behind this beautiful piece of public art. The plaque reads as follows. History flows like a river. This mural depicts the changing environment and the peoples who lived along the Pocomtuck, Deerfield, and Gwinnettequa, Connecticut rivers for 12,400 years since glacial retreat. On March 28th, the Sunderland Public Library held a highly anticipated workshop in regards to Sunderland's Village Center and the reworking of the intersection of Route 116 and Route 47, which is currently a very dangerous intersection. A presentation was given by Jason Schreiber, a consultant of the firm Stantec, about the possible improvements that can be made to this area of road and to the Sunderland Village Center. The town of Sunderland partnered with Stantec, a company that specializes in urban planning and similar services, back in November of 2023 to explore ways to slow down traffic and to make the area safer for pedestrians to walk. Amongst one of the options currently being explored is the removal of the traffic lights and the installation of a rotary at the intersection of routes 116 and 47. Regardless of how the town moves forward, it is the hopes of the community that any modifications made will greatly improve the safety to all Sunderland residents. On the days of Tuesday, April 2nd and Wednesday, April 3rd, the Tilton Public Library held a small farewell party for its upcoming temporary closing on April 5th. Throughout the month of April, the library will be closed as it moves next door into the function hall of the former Deerfield Congregational Church. The library is planned to reopen in this temporary location in the beginning of May. While the library is closed for the move, it will not be accepting returns of any library items, nor will it be able to accept deliveries from other libraries. During the move, Tilton Library patrons are encouraged to visit the other South County libraries, such as, in alphabetical order, Conway's Field Memorial Library. The Sunderland Public Library. And the Waitley Public Library. Overall, this short closure will help the library prepare for its highly anticipated renovation and reconstruction. And that concludes this edition of the FCAT South County Spotlight. I'll see you next time.